Last month, Strike Force announced that they had secured the services of American heavyweight Mohammed King Mo Lawal. The 5 0 Division I All American wrestler is coming off an impressive TKO victory over Pride and UFC veteran Mark Kerr in August, winning a mere 25 seconds into the first round. The Fight Network had a chance to catch up with the former Big 12 champion to discuss his newest endeavor. And I'm really excited, man. I'm ready, you know, December 19th. You know, I'm going to beat somebody up and get paid. It's going to be good, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm excited to show my, show my skills to the rest of the world in America, you know what I'm saying? So it's going down. They got a good stable of fighters for me to showcase my skills against. It's going to happen in heavyweight or 205 mainly. But if I have to make 185, hey, man, let's cut that weight. Lawal spends time training in Orange County, California, with former Strike Force Light heavyweight champion Hanato Babalu Sobral, who is confident that the Sengoku veteran Lawal will make an impact no matter what weight division he decides to compete in. He's going to give a tour for a lot of guys. Uh, 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 whatever weight he will, if he's going for it, for it. light heavyweight, heavyweight, and welterweight, he, he's, he's a machine. Strike Force CEO Scott Coker is anxious to see how Lawal will fare in his rapidly rising promotion. I watch Mo fight in Japan, and uh, I said, "Guys, this guy's charismatic, great personality. He's more than just a fighter. He's 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 a very charismatic, you know, young athlete. Every person he's worked out with said he's the real deal, and grab this guy. Mo Lawal is the number one draft pick. You heard it here."